learning to recognise and acknowledge the goddess within. Throughout all history, particularly in Greek mythology, the female goddess has been recognised and certain characteristics including strength, virtue and femininity have all been celebrated. History is essential as it shapes our lives for the future, but what is equally important is to recognise the goddesses in our everyday lives. Every woman, irrespective of who she is, what she does for a living or what her personal situation is, will possess goddess-like qualities even if she is not initially aware of them. Women have been suppressed so much through history that at times they are not even aware of how powerful they were and still are. So what is a goddess really? You may hear a friend mention that a woman they find attractive is a goddess purely because of the way she looks. On social media we are constantly bombarded from photos of young women seeking approval for the way they do look. But this is only superficial, as the true goddess-like qualities are not always immediately apparent and are far greater. For example, the grandmother of 70, whose face may show a difficult life, having worked hard for so many years to provide for her family's varied needs. It may not be immediately apparent on the surface level, as her face will be lined instead of smooth, but the strength, honour and commitment this woman has shown will always be seen as goddess-like qualities, which are far deeper reaching and beautiful. Maybe you are a woman who is constantly comparing herself to others in the way you look, dress or perhaps do for a job. But the truth is this constant competing and striving for perfection will only ever attract those who are either not willing or do not care enough to look close enough. And as a result you will never feel completely loved and fulfilled because that only comes from unconditionally accepting yourself, just as you are not for who we feel others will want us to be or desire. Of course we all strive to be a better and more productive version of ourselves, but in doing so it is important to stay authentic and consistent in understanding who you truly are. It may be that you do not look like a model and yet you have an incredibly compassionate nature, or you may not have the job you wished you did and therefore cannot afford to provide for yourself and your family the way you would like. But what is the most important, money or time? To a child or a partner spending time with the person they love is irreplaceable. Money can come and go or be taken away just as easily through losing a job or by other means. It is also very important to understand that as women we can be very self-critical of ourselves at times and we tend to notice things that nobody else does. Maybe you have put on a little weight and you don't physically look the same, but you are still the same person within. And if in yourself you are happy and content, why does this matter? The truth is love is unconditional and any partner, friend or family member who does not accept you exactly the way you are or forms judgments will often have underlying issues of insecurity within themselves that they may not wish to disclose. As a woman celebrating your many gifts is part of embodying the energy and enchantment of being a goddess. So accept and acknowledge everything about you, the good and the bad. And if initially you struggle with this, try to see yourself how others see you. You may be pleasantly surprised. We are often our own worst enemies. So instead of looking for the faults, seek out the parts that make you proud to be you. Because after all, you are totally unique and there will never be another person like you. And isn't that in itself worth celebrating? <laughs>